Welcome to the podcast by Mata. I'm your host, Joe Mata. And today we have a newcomer to the industry. Uh, everyone, please welcome Callie Klein. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Oh, doing good. Do it, do it. Um, just glad we were able to reschedule everything. Um, you know, the fans and uh, listeners were, were anxious for this, so um, let's get right to it. Um, First off, congratulations on your uh, AVN nomination. Um, can you tell us a little more about that? Um, I have been nominated for Sam's Toys Hottest Newcomer. All right, all right. And uh, you being new to the industry, um, being nominated for that, uh, how did it make you feel? I mean, I was like, I didn't even believe it at first. I had a few people, like, you know, text me and be like, hey girl, congrats on your AVN nom, and I was like, no, nope. I don't know what you're lying about, like, I checked, my name's not up there, thank you though, um, maybe you confused me with somebody else, and they're like, no, no, you really got nominated, and I was like, I swear, I did it, and I even posted on Twitter, because I had a bunch of people telling me, mm-hmm. and I couldn't find it, I kept looking at AVN up, and I'm like, I swear, I can't find this, and, um, I even post on Twitter, I was like, I'm so confused right now, like, I don't understand life. And then I finally figured out how to, like, look for it, and then I saw it, and I, like, I was so happy. I called my dad right off the bat and was like, Dad, I got nominated, and he was like, congrats. All right, all right, definitely. Yeah, congratulations on that, for sure. Thank Uh, you. Of course, and then other than the, the AVN nomination, um, you've made some great strides in the business. What do you think are uh, your biggest accomplishments so far, besides the avian nomination? The accomplishments in the industry so far? Yes. Um, I don't think I've accomplished much as I've like wanted to. Since there's a lot more that I I want to do. So just the one accomplishment that I like put my mind to was getting nominated for avian. So that's all I can say. I'm, I'm kind of like proud of right now. All right, all right. Well, that's good. You definitely, you definitely uh, are, are uh, making uh, big strides in, in your first year. Um, how did you come up with your stage name? Um, I actually uh, thought about it with my dad. Like, I had been cam modeling for some time. Okay. And I don't know, like, some people for some reason think my dad gave me the nickname Cali Cat, which I originally was under, but that's not true. Okay. Um, I just happened to like be talking to my dad, and I was like, I really like to keep the name Callie. And he was like, that's pretty cool. And he's like, what about Callie Klein, similar to that of Calvin Klein? I'm like, okay, that works. All right. All and right. I um, like I went through a bunch of different names, mm-hmm. and I like posted on Twitter and had people vote which ones they wanted for the most. So okay, that All also right. helps. All right. Yeah, definitely, definitely. You're uh, listening to the fans. Definitely helps. Um. Do you have any guilty pleasures, you know, like a TV show or song that you like? Um, I'm not much of a TV watcher. Okay. I prefer listening to music. Okay. So I do have, like, a few songs which I obsessively, like, put on repeat. Okay. And my, I'll just read the same book over and over again. Okay. So. All right. Um, you care to say what songs they are? Yeah. <laughs> My favorite song is uh, Keep It Mellow by Marshmallow and Robbers by the 1975. They're totally the most different sounding type of music, but I constantly am playing it. And then the book that I'm always, always reading is The Outsiders. I oh. just, it's my favorite book. Okay. All right. Good. Good. And what is something about you that, uh, excuse me. What is something about you that uh, not too many people would know? Um, I mean, I'm such an open book that I don't... The only things that, like, not a bunch of people would know would be, like, really personal, like, information, so... Okay, all right. Yeah. Yeah, okay, well, definitely we'll we'll leave that part of it out for sure, for sure. Um... Do you get recognized in, in real life, you know, out, out in the public? And if you do, do you have any funny stories? <laughs> yeah, I've got recognized a few times, and it's really, like, uncomfortable. Yeah. Because, like, I've, like, just been hanging out with my friends, 
And people were looking at me weird, and I was like, just ignore it, because my friends were like, hey, they're like looking at us weird. I'm like, just ignore it, like, it's no big deal. Right. And then they came over to me, and they're like, are you Callie Klein? And I'm just like, oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm happy. I like to talk, so I'm okay with fans coming up to me. Mm-hmm. But it's really uncomfortable when it's, like, around, like, my family and friends. Right. Because even though that they're supportive, it's just kind of like... They're trying to be there for me as my actual person and not me as my porn persona. Right. So it's just, it's interesting when that happens. But it's really funny when the, like, underage boys come up and they're like, let's take a picture. I'm like, I don't think so. Like, <laughs> goodbye. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Definitely. And on Tinder is really funny because I get a lot of recognizations on Tinder. Okay. All right. If, uh, if money was no object, what would be your dream car to have? Oh, I mean, hmm, I don't know, <laughs> probably like the same car that I have now. I'm so happy with the car that I have. I have a Toyota Camry. Okay. Um, I'm more about like the car being like functional versus actually like being expensive. Right. Because I'd rather have a car that's low maintenance and be ugly than the super fancy car and constantly needing repairs, you know? Right, right. I'm just, I'm a simple girl. All right, good, all right. Um, what is your favorite drink or, or food? Mm, my absolute favorite food is hot Cheetos, like the super spicy kind. They're called extra flaming. Okay. I literally eat those things, like, every day. I love them, and... I love Starbucks iced caramel macchiato. I have one every morning, and the people at Starbucks, because it's just it's next to my house, like it's walking distance, Okay. they they know me, and they're like, here's your drink. They know what time I'm going to come in and everything. And it's pretty cool. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, can you tell listeners and the fans um, how you got into the adult industry and tell us about your first experience? Yeah. I got into the adult industry basically through my dad. Um, I spent a few months debating it. Like, I know some girls are just like, I want to do porn, and then they contact an agent, and then they're, they travel right out to L.A. or Miami, depending on where their shoots are. Right. But I was really like, you know, I grew up with my dad being a, my dad owns a gay porn company. Right. And a few, I mean, he owns a bunch of companies because he owns his own studio. And so it was like, I grew up around porn, so I kind of knew, like, what to expect. And so that kind of made me hesitant about entering it, actually. And so I spent a few months debating. Like, I talked to every single one, everybody in my family about it and how they felt about it and how it was going to affect them. And then I talked to all my friends about it. I asked them how they were going to feel. Because, I, because, like, honestly, porn doesn't just affect, like, you as an individual it affects like your whole family and your friends and I really put that into perspective and they all kind of told me the same thing like that they loved and support me um they didn't necessarily agree with what I was thinking about doing and they were kind of surprised since I had been such a good goody goody two shoes for so long okay. like, really really and I was like yeah like I'm I really want to try it and um you know my dad he was like I think you should try and go for it and he's like, if you don't like it, there's no shame in just quitting. And right, I'm like, yeah, right. totally. And then I thought to myself, because then I had a bunch of directors and producers like contacting me via Twitter because I put out that I wanted to do a scene. Mm-hmm. And I had a few agents contact me too. And I thought about it, like, what kind of scene, what's the kind of first scene that I want to do? Because there's backroom casting that's right in Tempe where I live. Mm-hmm. So that was an option, and everyone knows about that site. <laughs> it's infamous. And I was like, I don't know if I necessarily want to do that. Then I thought about doing, like, first-time videos. But I, I really got down to thinking I wanted to do something completely outrageous okay. and totally out of character for me. I had never even been with more than one guy in one day in my life. So I thought about doing a gangbang. Okay. And I contacted the director at his name's Buzz Aziani. I contacted him because he's a local in Arizona okay. who shoots a local game bang website. <laughs> and that was my first scene. Okay. Bang. All right. <laughs> um what important lessons yeah. what important lessons uh have you learned from being in the industry so far, you think? 
Um, can you repeat that, please? Yeah. Um, what kind of lessons have you learned being in the industry so far, you think? Um, I've learned a lot, but I think, like, the most important lesson that I've learned so far is that you really need to stick true to yourself, and you need to believe in yourself at the end of the day, and what you believe. Your opinion of yourself matters the most because the online comments are vicious. Yeah. And if you let yourself, you know, listen to that, it's gonna it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt like a fucking bitch. Yeah, you definitely and have to be dick skinned for sure. You just you gotta toughen up and you just gotta come down to the fact and look at yourself in the mirror and be like, Damn, I'm fucking hot. Like I don't need to listen to what all these haters are saying and once I got out of my head that's when I was like as able to become like a stronger person and so that's one thing I like I'm really happy about the industry is that it's made me into a confident person I never used to be like that all right all right good to hear <clears throat> um do you have any uh further plans um to get more involved in the industry as far as scenes or, or starting your own business and um maybe you know directing type, type stuff well, I mean, of course I have new scenes coming out. I'm shooting my first anal, interracial, and double penetration very soon. So I'm excited about that. Um, I'm, think, I'm taking over my dad's company eventually. Okay. And maybe in a few years. So there's, that's what I'm looking forward to doing is becoming a, a producer and a director. And once that happens, I'll take a step away from being in the spotlight and just stay behind the camera. All right, all right. Now I understand you have a uh, a clip store you're going to be launching pretty soon. Can you tell us a little more about that? Um, I mean, I've just like I've been like dabbling in the idea of doing a clip store. Okay. Um. So that's about as much as I can say. Okay. So, um, any are you leaning more towards it or debating uh, debating against it or? It's more like I'm a really busy person right now. Uh -huh. I'm going to school almost full time. I'm shooting porn. I'm cam modeling. I work at the strip club. Ah, okay. Um, okay. And then I'm I do like production assistance for my dad, and then I do bookkeeping for my grandfather's company. So it's kind of like I don't even know if I have enough time to build the content for a club store. Ah, okay, yeah. Is what it gets down to. Okay, If I had the time, that. I would 100% do it because, I mean, that sounds like a really fun thing to do is to, like, direct my own little videos, but it's like I barely even have enough time to, like, smoke a bowl these days, so. Okay, okay. Alrighty. Okay, and in closing, um, would love to know, Kelly, which uh, film has been a definition of your career so far, and what work has been uh, your best, you think? Ooh, that's a good question. <laughs> um, I mean, the gangbang is probably, like, my most, like, known thing. I'm very, like, at least for, I get a lot of people just be like, you're that gangbang girl, right? So that's something that I feel like I'm the most recognized for, but I'm the most proud of my... Like, I'm the most proud of how I performed when doing my Naughty America scene because okay. I had worked so hard to get my body into shape and I had never performed with a, a big company like that before and I performed with a really great guy, Preston Parker. Okay. Um, but my, so I say that one was like my best work, but my absolute favorite scene I've ever shot was with James Dean for Bang. That was so much fun. I had never done rough sex like that before. Okay. And it was kind of like, I don't know. It was a little life-changing for me. All right. And, and, and after that, I was just kind of like, ooh, vanilla sex is way too boring now. <laughs> okay, is, there, um, is there somebody, say, that you haven't worked with yet, male or female, that you would like to? For female, I would definitely have to say that I would love to work with um, Chanel uh, Hart. She's just, she's gorgeous, and we've met a few times, and okay. we talk a lot. I think she'd be great 
to work with. And for a guy performer, I'd probably have to say, like, like Jesse Jones. I don't know. He's pretty cute. Okay. Yeah. And I like the way he performs, so I feel like it'd be cool. Or maybe Xander Corvez, because he's, he's really hot, too. So okay. Alrighty. It's kind of like, it's great about being in porn is that you get to have sex with people you're attracted to right. and do it as a job. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, are, are you planning on um, being at the, any, any of the expos or, or, or the AVN Awards this year? Oh, absolutely. I'm definitely going to the expos. Um, AVN, I'm not sure if I'm going to attend the expo. I mean, I got the ticket for it, but I'm not like... 100% sure, but I'm definitely going to the awards because oh. that'd be really cool. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, and if the fans wanted to find you on social media, where could they find you at? They can find me at, for several different accounts, uh, Twitter, which is at CallieKlein143. Uh, Instagram is m- official Callie Klein. My Snapchat is Miss Callie Klein. And then I have a blog. I have a